Welcome back to another episode of Julie's Auto Garage. We just got back from another camping trip uh, last night, or this morning. We went last night, and uh, I just wanted to show off my, my trailer. And um, so it's a, it was a regular cargo trailer. As you can see, there's a window here, so it's not a regular car cargo trailer no more. Let me do a little walk around, and I'll show you all the different things that I've done to it. Uh, first of all, the door was already on here. I did add a, a flagpole on there, so. I guess I'll show the inside first here. Just open the back door instead of opening the side door. Oops. It was a Wells Cargo. <clears throat> so, let me back up here. It's kind of all packed up, ready to go. Ooh, it's a little warm in here. So, kind of explain a little bit about what I did. So on this side, that's also a bed that folds down like this one. And the way that this folds up here, just right up. Legs are on hinges, you attach it there. <clears throat> so it's kind of cool. I added those on just so it won't be bouncing around as much. But then also this piece of wood that's right here, you see that little hook, it hangs on there. It's got a, when I drive, I keep it up, so that's not going anywhere, but what that piece is for is so when I fold both of the beds down, that piece is made, if you look, to where it'll sit right between the two. So... <clears throat> I added these, I built these and added them in. I also, um, it's kind of nice when you're uh, sleeping in here because I did add windows on both sides. They open. These are just like little uh, uh, shed windows. Check it out on the outside here. Just little shed windows. They got a screen on them so you bugs don't get you. The only light that this, I did add a battery and I added power center in this thing. The only uh, light that it had before was this guy. And it only worked when uh, the truck was, had the lights on for the trailer. So as you can see right now, it's not working. It's a little remote control for my lights up here. These are kind of dim little lights. Just if you want to go to sleep, that way it's not uh, pitch black in here. And uh, I do have a screen I could put over the door, keep the bugs out if I want to leave the door open. <clears throat> but uh, also I put in, this had a vent here. So I had to wire it for a fan, 12 volt fan. And I also added a little speed controller. So most of the fans most of the fans that you can get online, unless it's like a name brand like Fantastic Fan, they're all, I mean, they're all pretty expensive. This one was less expensive because it didn't have the controller option and I just got this for 10 bucks. I added it on in maybe 15 minutes, so. <clears throat> totally worth it though because it was. Let me I'll crank it up all the way and you can hear how loud it is. It 
does move the air though when the back door is closed. You can see the curtains pulling in the air. Which is pretty cool. Nice to get some fresh air, you know. Anyways, I added these cabinets up here. I plan on getting, I still gotta keep closing there. Um, I plan on buying doors online that I can just put right on top of there. I feel like these were kind of permanent and that, yeah, cause these are the handles, but you know. <clears throat> Got some storage over here, so it's always nice. This one's screwed in, these ones I just kind of put up where I'm, where I'm, whenever I'm somewhere. Because, uh, you know, where's the lighter? You know, we got to look through all the storage stuff here. This is great for storage. I put in a, this is a, a shower towel rack. I had an extra one at the house. <clears throat> if you look down here, that's my power center. So I got all my fuses. I got all my my uh, circuit breakers so in here I got this this guy here I hooked up for a bigger or with a larger circuit breaker and uh, that's just for when I run the air conditioning in here as you can see I got some vents I got a, a portable air conditioning I added some screens on there and stuff so no bugs can crawl up in here <clears throat> and then one of them goes to this one of the other circuit breakers goes to that plug there. I added in some cigarette lighters here. I have I have a little uh, uh, 12 volt like little cooler. So I use that guy. Uh, let me see under here. Underneath here, I added in some some more uh, plug-in 110 receptacles. <clears throat> Um, this is kind of cool, this little thing, this little power center I put in here. It tells me my voltage, which I use quite a bit, because depending on what the voltage says, I know, okay, I need to hit the, you know, hit the generator or plug it in. Uh, it's got a little cigarette lighter. Great for little phone chargers or whatever. And then also, I found one that has a little, two USB plugs which is cool because I just put a phone charger in here all the time got some hooks and stuff in here uh, the portable air conditioning there's the the tubes for it <clears throat> or the um, the return and, and uh, uh, supply of air and <clears throat> I've done a lot of research and from what they were telling me or what I was like kind of reading online Everyone was saying, if you're good at putting it in a trailer, make sure you get the, the one that has an intake and an output. Because the ones that just have the output, where it's blowing the hot air out, um, it sucks in air through all the cracks like around the door and through the windows and everything. So it sucks in the hot air from the outside. So this, it takes hot air from the outside and puts the hotter, hotter air back out. So it's only cooling down the air that's inside the trailer. Yeah, there's gonna be little cracks and stuff like that, but I didn't want the, I also heard people complaining about like the negative vacuum, like your door wanting to suck closed all the time. So I was like, mm, I'll get one that has two, two vents on it. Um, behind all this, behind all these panels, I actually took off all these panels. Number one, I had to take them off to put uh, these windows in cut into the metal, cut into the frame. I had to weld some metal uh, supports across the side here so it could support the, there was a metal uh, piece of the, like a rib that came all the way down. I had to cut that one. I couldn't find windows that would fit between the, the metal uh, frame here. So I, uh, I welded in support across the bottom, support across the top to support that weight onto these. Uh, frames here, but between the uh, outside skin that's aluminum and this inside there wasn't anything here And so I added this It's uh, just foam insulation. I'll show you a little piece of it. There's just foam insulation to uh, 
to help insulate this thing. Uh, oh, also up top, I added all these lights here, all these 12 volt lights. They're all LED, so they're very efficient. I only put one battery on here, which I'll show you on the outside. I only put one battery on here, but I uh, it lasts. <clears throat> it's a deep cycle. It lasts a pretty long time. I do have cabinets here on the other side too. So these are great for putting like clothes and stuff like that in there. Um, um, also this um, this table, it's kind of nice because I can also, or the bed, I mean, I can use it as a table as well. So um, I do have a set of chairs. I have them, oh, they're right over there actually. I do have a set of chairs and, you know, sometimes I'll sit in here if I'm eating or, you know, you know, do work on the computer or something like that. I also insulated the back door. I took all those panels off and insulated the back door. But up top, I really had to make sure that I insulated it because all of, like it was just the exposed aluminum skin of the roof. And uh, I knew it was gonna just turn this, is I'm in Arizona, so it would just turn this into a like a, like a little oven in here if I didn't insulate it and, and cover it up and everything. So I got insulation up in there. I need to do the floor next. When I go places where it's really cold, um, the floor is freezing. And it is just a, if you look, it's just the, you know, the OSB or whatever it is there. And I got a piece of linoleum in here. And I just like to do that because it's really easy to sweep it out. Um, you know, sweep all the dirt or whatever from your shoes, you know, bring, when you bring your, you know, dirt and stuff in here. Um, let me see what else. I'll show you the battery and everything here. Batteries right here. I, uh, had some old metal I made into a little battery frame here. Got it to fit. I had to get some cords and stuff or some, uh, some wire, some real thick gauge wire battery cables to run it into that uh, control unit there. Also, it's a four pin plug now. I have a seven pin plug. I'm gonna make it to where I'm, when I'm driving it charges also. I gotta switch it over to seven pin to do that. Let me show you what I set up here for the power. I was trying to figure out, do I wanna put like a like a you know, thing you plug in for your shore power or whatever. And this is what I came up with instead. So this is how I, what I do in travel mode. I put a little box. Cut it. So every time I go somewhere, I just, this is like my security zip tie. So it doesn't open up and my cord goes flying. My, and I lose my cord or something while I'm driving. So I just cut that guy off and then this guy actually pulls out of it and then I can just plug into shore power somewhere. You know. And that charges my battery. Charges my battery and everything. It's a pretty cool little stealth, little stealth guy too. Um, you know. My wife made these curtains here. I thought it was a pretty neat little touch. But you can have the, this on the curtains off of it right now, but you can have these folded up and there's not much light that comes out of here. Um, but it's just, <coughs> this little guy is just long enough to sleep on and also cool thing is I can fit my golf cart in here so if I want to take it somewhere they both fold up out of the way I can pull my golf cart all the way in here take my golf cart whatever um, you know wherever I want to go unload it and then set everything up in here which is kind of nice I did build I forgot I also did build this front um, shelving unit I did build this front shelving unit here and I was like, God, it's like a V shape. It's just such a weird, 
awkward shape, so I don't know what to, like how to utilize it best. And I think this actually does a pretty good job of utilizing it because I can pack stuff in there. I got all the, the bar on there so it doesn't go sliding around where I'm driving. You know, I got everything that goes under there. Whenever I want to get into it, I just, you know, pull it out, slide it back out of the way. Um, I, I was thinking about doing uppers across the top here. I don't know, maybe something smaller. But, but it does quite a, it's pretty nice. As long as the weather's nice outside, because you don't want to be cooped up in here. It's so small. As long as the weather's nice outside, it's, it's great to be able to come in here or it's, or even if it's, you know, even if it's cold or whatever, it's nice to be able to hot. It's nice to be able to come in here, cool off for a little bit, go do outside activities, come back, you know, it's got a deadbolt. So it locks and everything. Yeah, it's a pretty nice little deal. And I put all these little, like this little guy here and you know, these little hooks so I can hook my keys up. Cause you know, here's where the keys go. It seems you're always outside. I'll let me go inside to get my keys. That way you don't have to track any dirt or anything in here. Yeah, but I'd love this little having this little power station here. I'm glad I I'm glad I got that. I was just gonna get the the readout and then I saw I was gonna get this little uh voltage readout and I saw online they had some some different ones, they had some different things. I'm like, well, I'll get I'll get this one, I'll try it out. I'm glad I did though, because you know, I have two different little speakers and you know, you're always listening to music while you're out camping or whatever, you got it outside and that way you can charge one inside all the other ones, you know, outside you're using it. You don't gotta, you know, stop, you know, listening to your music or whatever you're listening to just to, for a couple hours just to charge it. And then you can stick your phone in here. This is, I love that part too. anything it does have four tie downs those already came with it those came with it heavy duty tie downs um, one last thing I'll show you <clears throat> I'll show you kind of how I had it set up last night and this is kind of get pretty cold so I ran an extension cord from there up underneath here to my generator that's in there and with this generator it has a remote key fob with a remote start and my heater that I have that's my heater right there and it blows the air and it oscillates back and forth you set it to you set the thermostat to a specific temperature but it comes with a remote so I don't even have to, when I wake up in the morning, it's too cold to get out of bed. I can crank up the generator, which I leave the keys right by me, crank up the generator. I set my, once the power comes on in here, I set my thermostat to what I want and it kicks on and just starts warming it up. Uh, if you check out the other video that I have, I posted, uh, I posted it. So, um, it's pretty cool that it works that far away. I don't have to get out and start it up if you're boondocking somewhere or dry camping somewhere in the middle of nowhere. Um, if I'm, you know, we go to uh, parks where there's power and everything too. And if we go to one of those places, we always uh, just leave it on or you know, have it oscillating throughout the night. Cause once it, you know, say you set it to 70 degrees, once it gets to 70 degrees, it will shut down. And once it gets below 70 degrees, it'll kick back on again. And it's pretty nice. So. But uh, if anyone has any questions about any, like, the per cost of anything I put in here or how I did this or how I did that, uh, feel free. Give me a like, a uh, comment. Uh, you can subscribe. Um, but drop a comment below. I'll try to answer back as soon as I can. Um, and thanks for watching Julie's Auto Garage. Here's a real cool part about this. Is this thing fits just barely, barely in my garage. So I can back it in up the garage get this guy somewhat level I have to jack it up really high because the back of my truck 
the hitch on my truck is like way up there. It's flat in my garage. <clears throat> so I can back it up here. And then once it's up here, I did add this wheel on here. The wheel did not come with it. It came with just a foot. But because this guy is such a small trailer, I can just... You can see the bearings work really good in it. I can just kind of drag it around, move it where I want it to. So I'm going to do this. Plugged it in. Just plug the trailer in. I don't need it locked when it's in my own garage. <laughs> so this one? That one. Okay. Uh, dead bolt. Okay. So now, let's see what it's reading. Before it was 12.6, now it's 13.6. I can hear the little power thing over there cooking away. There's the, the AC. It's kind of big, so. If I don't need it, I try not to, to pack it. But usually when I set it up, it just sets up kind of like that. So it's blowing over you, especially when you sleep and stuff. So, but 13.7, yeah, 